Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Adrian. I'll be doing a shower routine using Dr. Bronner's Cherry Blossom. I haven't seen this in a while. I love the pink packaging. It's so pretty. It is a nice chunky bar soap. It has all one written on it, embedded in it, along with the pink salt hair, pink beach skin softening serum body wash. This smells so lovely. Very silky on the skin. It has coconut oil. It is really softening to the skin. And I'll be scrubbing using one of my favorite scrubs. This exotic bloom smells amazing. By Sugar. Sea Sugar Scrub. Oh my god. If you haven't tried this one, try it. You're going to smell amazing. And I'll be using the Billy Sky Foam Shade Gel in Violet Glaze. This smells so good. It has the aloe and cucumber that protects your skin. Starting my shower, I just like to get my body nice and wet from the water. I use lukewarm to hot water when I'm showering, especially on, it's been hot out here in California. It's been like 100 degrees back to back, and I'm just like, I need to go in with a deep cleanse, and I'm be using this Dr. Bronner soap for the first time. I haven't had a Dr. Bronner soap in so long, so I really forgot what it's like, how sudsy it get, if it gets sudsy. I do have the body washes and Castile soaps in the wash, but I don't have the bar soap. So far, it does feel soft, and it suds up really nice once I get it on my washcloth and get it real sudsy. Will I recommend Dr. Bronner's Bar Soap? Yes, I will. It's a 10 out of 10. It really gets you clean. And it's great for great deep cleaning first wash. So, And it smells really light and beautiful cherry blossom. I think this is going to go really good with the cherry blossom Jergens lotion. So that would be a good combo because I really like the cherry blossom Jergens lotion. Especially for my hands. It feels so good. Now, rinsing off the Dr. Bronner's Cherry Blossom Soap, I really feel clean, and I'll go in with the Saltair Pink Beach Body Softening Serum Body Wash, you guys. This is a replenishing, hydrating body wash. It helps replenish your healthy skin, giving you good hydration levels, you guys. If you haven't used this brand, I would suggest using it if you have dry skin. It smells so good. It lathers really light and soaky to me. It has fermented pink oil. I never heard of that. But you guys, it's really doing something to the skin because it immediately feels soft and conditioning on my skin. The fragrance is lightly fragranced but beautiful. And overall, it the pink packaging gravitated me to this. It looks so pretty. It smells pretty, and it really deeply nourishes your skin. So try this out. Solterra, you, you did that one. I love the pump bottle, too. This wash, I'm shaving my arms and my legs using the Billy Sky Foam Shave Gel in the scent Violet Glaze. Violet Glaze, you guys, it really foams up like no other. I'll be using my Venus Gel Razor. And you guys, this foam gel is really protective and it softens the skin with aloe and cucumber. The smell is so beautiful it smells like wildflowers white woods and a sweet vanilla mist it really does this goes along with this beautiful scented hygiene 
shower routine. to scrub my body using the tree hutch say sugar scrub and exotic bloom you guys this has the shea butter hemp oil and lavender oil this is the best scrub that i ever used the scent is amazing to me it smells like a bright most beautiful lavender oil i ever smelled in my life the color of this scrub is so beautiful it's addicting to me. It lights up the bathroom when I'm scrubbing my whole body. It really lingers on and everybody's like, what is that? And it's the scrub. The scrub is amazing. This scent is my go-to scent. After I'm done like scrubbing my body, I usually like to do one more light cleanse all over my body using like the Gentle Cleanse Pink Body Serum by Saltaire, you guys. This hygiene routine really smells amazing. It's like popping scents, but not overpowering to the nose. You're going to smell divine and delicate after the shower routine, you guys. The shave cream smells good. The salt hair smells light and beautiful. The cherry blossom Dr. Bronner soap is amazing with deep cleansing. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite foot scrub. This is the only foot scrub that I use that leaves my feet immaculate soft. I use the green side to scrub, the white side to smooth it out, you guys. This is all you need to have smooth, baby soft feet, you guys. Get this. This is, I think, the world's best palmer stone. You could get it from Walmart. And I scrub my whole body. With the exotic bloom everywhere, all of my thighs, my legs, my butt, my feet. Get everywhere, you guys. You're going to smell so good, like addicting. Don't walk past your man smelling like this. You're going to, yeah, he going to do something to you. But this is, uh, try to scrub out exotic bloom by Tree Hut. Now, you know, feminine wash, my favorite feminine hygiene wash. This is all I use. It's so simple. It gets the job done and the price is right, you guys. So now that I'm out the shower, I'm about to wash my face first before I lotion my body because I don't like to put lotion on my hands and touch my face, you know extra products I like to avoid that so in the evening I like to double cleanse my face and I have my Shiseido cotton pad this is the softest cotton pad that I ever use for my face it doesn't leave ball clumps on my face while I'm using it so I use 91% alcohol I've been using this and ain't been having no problem no problem so this is like a double cleanse what I do first and this is the evening only 
it really helps my skin doing the alcohol i don't know i tried it i like to try things i read you know when somebody said they had flawless skin doing it hey i'm gonna hop on and try it you feel me and i have i have sensitive oily acne prone skin and using this didn't cause any breakouts to my skin so that's why i continue using it i say i've been using it for about a month now and my skin just be feeling smooth and everything and i drag it down on my neck and it has a little bit of dirt on it a lot of dirt so you don't want to skip that step next i'll go in with my natrium this is a niacinamide cleansing jelly three percent that has niacinamide hyaluronic acid and vitamin c very gentle on the skin i love this stuff i started uh i started using the small bottles of this and i just fell in love and that's why i got the bigger bottle with the pump with this you can apply it on dry skin or wet skin and you can leave it on for a mask as well so This is what I do in the evening for my skincare. I use my gentle cleanser at night and my active cleanser in the morning. I just try to gently rub up and get everywhere I'm doing circular motions. mother nature coming so some type of breakout is going to pop up hopefully not you know hopefully not i feel her coming but i was checking i kept checking the day i was like is she coming i had on gray sweatpants too <laughs> i ain't had time so once i get a nice little rub in i'll say about a minute i do this in circular motion and that's the only cleanser I've been using in the evening. I really like it. Once it's like, you know, subside into my skin, I rinse it. You can leave it on as a mask too. So I haven't really left it on as a mask. I just, hey, I use it in the evening. I be trying to go to sleep. So I'm about to rinse it with lukewarm water. While I'm rinsing it, I still like, Rub it, you know. I still do circular motions while I'm rinsing. So. Face is all rinsed off. All rinse. I thoroughly rinse your skin off. I don't like to leave soap behind. So, thoroughly rinse it. I'm trying to do this tuck style with this towel. So, I'm full. So it won't fall, they say tuck it and it won't move. You know what I'm saying? It won't move. So I let it kind of, you know, dry or whatever. But I just, that's a double cleanse. If I wasn't using alcohol, I would wash my face twice with the actual face wash. And then I go in with a, a moisturizer if I'm, if it was like on a Monday, because usually I like to start my week off with a face mask and you know detox my face but it's thursday so i'm just doing a regular cleanse i i have been using aloe vera gel as a moisturizer with my survey moisturizer i've been using this aloe vera gel lately this is by woolsey's you guys this is really good aloe vera gel like i literally been looking for a really really good safe non-irritating aloe vera gel for all over two years honestly i actually gave up and then it just popped in my face and the price for three dollars popped in my face even more noticing that i do have like essential oils by this brand woozy i was like hold on then the actual bottle has actual bottle tells you all the benefits for your skin and hair and everything that is good for 
and the ingredients is just olive oil, vitamin E, and radish extract. So that was unique to me. I even use this by by myself, or I mix it. Like this morning, this goes good with my sunscreen. I wore this by by myself with the sunscreen to moisturize my face, and my face been moisturized all day. Like I'm loving this. I had some little pimples on my forehead. That's that subsided because it's good for reduces acne, helps lighten blemishes, soothes sunburns, heals wounds, reduces stretch marks if you have stretch marks. I haven't used it all over my body. It's good for moisturizing your skin and prevents signs of aging. So I've been using this basically all week and I don't see no bad effects on my skin at all whatsoever. So when my skin is a little bit dry, like damp, that's when I like to go in. Like, it really don't even matter how much you put on. I just put a nice little amount on my finger. And I just, it feels so good, too. It's, like, so smooth on the skin. I'm going to do some more research on radish extract because it's doing really good. My skin is doing really good. I went on the website. This olive virgin was actually, like, $20 or something. So, and it don't. It don't have a smell to it. It just smells fresh. Fresh. It's like a 10. I give it a 10 so far because if it feels good on my skin. It's not causing any other breakouts and I'm, I'm loving it. It goes, especially it goes with my sunscreen in the morning. Like That's the only thing I use on my face this morning for moisturizing. And I was just trying it out. And I like it so... The aloe vera in this survey is my favorite moisturizer for right now. Like, I'll recommend it. Definitely, I'll recommend the aloe vera by Woolsey. And the survey moisturizer lotion is a 10 out of 10 for my sensitive acne prone skin. My skin loves it. Doesn't cause any extra breakouts. So, yes. So I just give a nice little rub on my skin. Sometimes I do like a little gua sha, gua sha technique on my skin. Because it's so smooth, you could really use it for, with your gua sha too. I have it. I need to start doing, doing it again at least once a week. I bring it down to my neck. Olive vera gel reduces aging, so love it. Feels so good. Now, time to moisturize my body, you guys. And this moisturizer, I had it for a while, but I really wasn't using it. But I used it the other day, and but when I first started using it, I couldn't use it like while my skin was wet or like rub funny. It's good to use it while your skin is like dry. So this is what I'm using. I'm using this Nivea cream, you guys. It comes in this glass bottle. I love glass. I love the smell of this. It reminds me of Blue Magic Hair Grease, actually. The smell is just a beautiful, creamy, white color. I love it. So, you guys, when you use this, you use it on dry skin. And when you wake up, your skin is going to be beautiful, soft. And healthy looking so I like to rub it in and it's just gonna be like smooth and hydrated and you could actually use it on your face because it say non comedogenic you know that's what they say about the Vaseline's and stuff it's kind of like on a thick side but it is really like I was I was surprised. My skin looked is so beautiful. And I you know, I didn't give up on it because it was just too hot. So the weather has cooled down, but today and yesterday it's been a hundred degrees. I'm not mad. And a little goes a long way actually with this. I put it on my chest, my shoulders, my elbow. And this is just, you know, have your skin nice and moisturized. This is a great, 
winter moisturizer cream I can say that but since I wasn't actually moisturizing my skin for a couple days I said I needed some deep moisture and this brought my skin back to life just off one use I used it uh, the day before yesterday and I'm using it again so two times this week oh yeah so yes you guys I'm about to do my legs I'm about to put on my pajamas and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you on the next one.